I recently recorded a podcast with Kevin Foster. He runs a an Instagram page called Javelin Anatomy. And he's written for Just Five Sports on integrating fascia into movement. So he talks about the spine, the hips, and the feet. So for the spine, he says you should have the ability to segment your spine. If you watch somebody dunk their their arm swing uh, creates like a spinal wave that you can see the spine kind of actually signals the uh, hips and legs to, uh, I guess, contract naturally. So you can see it if you look at like the spinal engine theory where the sp- it's not necessarily locomotion or you could even say jumping. It's not necessarily about just the legs. The spine actually... Um, has a lot of movement in the spine, is involved in what happens in the legs. So if you lose that ability, you probably are not going to have as good of jumps, which can happen if you do a lot of deadlifts and squats, and that's all you do um, is brace your spine. So you do that stuff I did there, which was like uh, cat, cow, uh, basic thoracic stuff. Um, And now here I'm doing stuff for the hips. Uh, This is like standing hip circles. If you've seen my stuff, I've done this before. Uh, probably like 100 reps each way on each leg and what Kevin Foster talked about was the hip hips having the ability to internally rotate and he actually talked about functional range conditioning and at this moment I am not very familiar with how to implement that Um, I guess I could watch YouTube video but yeah so that's what I did for that just for natural uh, hip movement and working some internal external rotation And if you can't, so Kevin says, if you can't uh, internally rotate the hips, you can't torque your body in the way that you want. So the next part, he talks about the feet. Uh, So the arches should be strong. So here what I'm doing is um, like just hopping basically uh, on the balls of the feet and not really doing much with the toes, not like pushing through the big toe or or curling down with the toes, but just being on the ball of the foot. Uh, So this is something where Kevin says your fascia starts at your feet goes all the way up your head so you should have strong arches you should have uh, normal functioning feet and when you get these three things you can incorporate fascia into movement better um, and you should be able to perform more naturally so something like dunking should be uh, improved versus just uh, being in the weight room and squatting and deadlifting heavy to try to help that so try it out and enjoy